As you guys can see, my roots are a lot lighter. I don't know if you guys can tell, but for me, it made like quite the difference because my roots are like black almost. Here, I was thinking about making my hair curly, but then I was like, I don't want to do too much because my outfit's already going to be like pink and I'm going to go all like Sharpay Evans-esque. I'm just going to sleek out my hair and then just put the full attention onto my face. These inner parts right here are like the most struggle that I have with my hair. So that's why I love going to Maribel because she always does this for me. So a little life hack, I'm only really trying to sleek out the front pieces of my hair like perfectly and the rest can just be straight but I really want the fronts to be sleek sleek. Also I know I'm going to get questions on what straightener this is. This is the Bio Ionic 10X. I got this randomly off Sephora like two years ago. I kind of think it'd be really cute if I did like some side things but like also I feel like that's going to bring me back to like 2011 so... So now that we're done with this sleek straight hair, I'm going to be putting it back with a clip and then moving on to the makeup. Alright, and so for the makeup, I'm going to be taking my favorite foundation, which is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This is their original. They do have a matte one as well, but I prefer this one by a million. So I'm going to be taking two shades since I'm like kind of in between right now. Beige and nude beige. So this one's lighter. This one's a little bit darker, but this one's like a little too golden for me right now. Like I was tan, but then like I kind of faded because I haven't tanned in like a week. I'm going to do a little bit less of nude beige and then like a one and a half pump of beige. But LA Girl is usually very good with having your right shade already. Also, this is not sponsored. I just genuinely love their products and I rave about them all the time. So I'm just going to be taking my LA Girl sponge. This is what the LA Girl sponge looks like. It has a pointy side and a flat side. I usually like to use a pointy side just because it just like gets into the crevices really well. And then sometimes if I'm feeling spicy, I'll use the flat side, but I normally don't. Look at how good of a match this color is. Look, I'm gonna bring it down to my neck. I feel like I have a really good eye for when it comes to matching. So this is a dewy foundation, but you guys will see later on how I keep my face so freaking matte. And then for the concealer, I'm going to be taking this thick high coverage concealer. This one is the Huda Beauty The Overachiever Concealer, and this is in the shade Meringue 04N. So to start off, I did put on this light one, but over top, I'm going to be putting this Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Macadamia. This is like my darkest uh, concealer shade that I use. And I'm going to be placing it over top because this has absolutely no flashback. Neither does the Huda really, but I feel like when I use a super light concealer, I'm more prone to getting flashbacks. So just in case... Okay, but now guys, this is what keeps my makeup on all day long. This is the LA Girl Banana Yellow Powder. I call this the banana powder. This is what it looks like. It's like super messy because I use it every single day. I'm not even kidding you guys. This is my everyday powder. And I'm going to be baking my face. But don't bake for too long, guys. Even though this will not give you any flashback, I do not like to bake at all for too long. I will only place it on the places where I'm most oily. I swear to you guys, this banana powder does not have any flashback, so god bless LA Girl. I'll let it sit for like max 10 seconds and then I'll just press the powder into my face. If you swipe, you will most likely take off some of your makeup, so just make sure that you make it a habit that you just pat in. Luckily for me, when I'm taking the picture, I have a big fat pimple right here. Hopefully it doesn't show up on your camera, but... Oh, so you're one of those. I doesn't want to cover up. So while we're baking my huge pimple, I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite bronzer of all time. So this is the LA Girl Pro Face Press Powder, but this is in the shade Warm Caramel. My favorite bronzer ever because it is just the perfect color. And then I'm also taking the LA Girl 107 brush. I love to use this for my bronzer. Just because it's like pretty dense and it's also like shaped perfectly for the hollows of my face. So I normally like to just lay down the product where I want it and then afterwards I'll do all the blending. And then for my chin, just to make my double chin disappear, I like to kind of create like a little V on my chin and then just kind of like shadow it down here.
And also another trick that I like to do is take some of my powder and just go on the sides of my nose. And then I'll just leave that on for like 10 seconds and then wipe it off. And then I'm going to be using my favorite blush. This is the MAC Mobile Blush. I've been using this for ever since I started doing makeup. It's always been my mom's favorite too, so... Ooh, okay, that was a little too much. Okay, and I normally don't do my brows anymore since they are microbladed. But sometimes when I do want a little bit more pizzazz to my face, I do like to take this brow pencil right here. This is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil Blonde. And usually I will use my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown, which I also have here. But I have been liking this blonde color recently. I'm going to be taking my Macadamia concealer put a little bit on the back of my hand and i'm taking a little bit of a lighter concealer and just mixing them together i'm going to be going under and cleaning it up and now this is one of my favorite brow setters usually it's not an Anastasia one but today i'm going to be taking my urban k brow finish in the shade clear seriously all day okay now i'm going to be taking some highlights so i'm going to be taking this on my thin brush I'm just putting them a little bit because I don't want the flash to like make it look like I'm freaking greaseful I'm going to be going back in with Melba and just place it as my crease yeah this is Anastasia Jackie Aina palette look how pretty so I usually been using the Soleil color right here which is oh my goodness so pretty So I'm going to be doing the eyeliner now and normally I would take my LA Girl liner but I don't have it right now. I don't know where I put it. I think I lost it sadly so I'm going to have to pick up another one of those. But I'm going to be taking this doll 10 to the point liner. It is double ended. So they do have a shorter one from Precision and then they have the longer one. So I'm going to be using this one since I am going to be creating quite a long length. So before I put the lashes on, if you guys like drama, you guys need to get this mascara really bad. This is a Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. So this is like five levels up from the Better Than Sex Mascara. Let me just tell you, it is like a thick girl. So just watch what it does to my bottom lashes. Look at that, you guys. Alright, so I got my lashes on and now we are going to finish up the look with our lipstick. So I always go in with my LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner. This is in the shade Cafe and I'm just going to line my lips. I went to my room to go and get my lipstick that I'm always using. You guys always ask for this lip combo and I'm going to tell you guys. Say hello to our mommy. Mini turn baby. Look at his haircut. He's doing a hand job. Whenever he gets like all together, like he feels all like spoiled. He always has a little yawn. You see him? He doesn't talk about him. Oh baby. Oh, he tired. So after I apply my LA Girl Cafe lip liner, I'm going to go ahead and take my favorite lipstick. So this is the Lime Crime Birthday Suit Lipstick. I've had this color for I don't even know how long. I'm going to go ahead and take it. And I barely started using it, but look at how pretty it goes with that cafe lip liner. And then I'll take my lip liner once more. Just line it a little bit more. Alright guys, so that is it for my picture perfect makeup. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and this saved your life for an ID picture, a senior year picture, going to parties, and you know you're going to be taking pictures that night with flash. This is your go-to look. So before I end this video, I'm going to show you guys my outfit that I'm going to be wearing. I know that it's only going to be shown like from here up. I still think that it matters. So let's go pick out my outfit. And then real quickly, this is my outfit. I know like I said earlier, it's only going to be like from here up. But I feel like it does matter. Like just showing like this little amount of detail. The whole vibe very like Sharpay Evans. Or just because I've always wanted like such an iconic ID picture. And today is going to be the day. And I'm also like debating on whether I'm going like this. Like straight face. Or doing like a little smirk. Or like doing like a smile like. That's the hard part. So I'm just gonna stare at myself in the mirror for a little bit and then figure out what I want to do But here's the full outfit. I have this top from Shein these pants from Shein So whole outfit is from Shein and it just looks like this He hates when I put my pants on because he's like no, she's gonna leave me a little 
baby turned one year old. Hi, you're one year old. You're a big boy now. What? You want some attention? I know that this doesn't match, but you know what? Let's pretend like it matches. But that brings us to the end of our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also turn on post notifications and subscribe if you haven't already. So you guys will be notified whenever I post a new video. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.